Hello, it's me, Brendan Burns, aka Rattery Ruffman from YouTube, and I'm going to be doing another DVD review. Sorry. Of a, you know, a classic 1985 movie. I know all kids from the 80s, 80s know. Sorry. Let me start again. I know all kids who grew up in the 1980s love this movie, and it's The Goonies. Sorry if the DVD is out messy and crappy. Uh, I had this a long time. It's old. I think dust is getting to me in this video, but I'm going to do this video anyway. Anyway, the Goonies, yeah, we all love this movie. You know this movie by heart. If you're a kid who grew up in the 80s and 90s and saw the movie on television, you know the Goonies directed by. Richard Donner, Steven Spielberg, I guess pre presents the Goonies, the uh, Richard Donner film. Has Sean Astin as Mikey, Corey Film as Mouth, and uh, that kid from Indiana Jones, I can't pronounce his name, but he was Data. Data, yeah, the kid with the gadget. Let's see, Kelly Green as Andy. Brad's love interest, played by uh, Josh Brolin, he played Brad. And uh, Marcy, was it Marcy Crane who played uh, her and his friend? Uh, Steph, yes, yeah, Steph, okay. And of course, Jeff Cohen who played Chunk. Yep, the Goonies. This the movie also has the Fatalis, the Heartless, and Ramsey. That just you know who who was also in So Mom from the Train. She, she was a good scary old lady. Good scary old lady. And then the Fatalis, Joe. I can't pronounce his name. He was in the bound. And I think Robert Duvall. I think it's Robert Duvall. I, yeah, who played the other Kelly? It's Sloth, played by the late John Matuback, who was on the. He played for the Oakland Raiders in the NFL in his NFL career. John Matuback playing Sloth. But The Goonies is, is a good '80s movie. <sighs> Huh. Sorry, I just had to get away from that dust there and there. I got allergies too, I'm sorry. I'll do this. But the Goonies, uh, it is a great, you know, it is like we all grew up on this movie. That the kids, you know, Mikey and Brad, their brothers and their house is being, is about to be torn down, so they need money to save, to help their father, so they search for the pirate's treasure, the legend of one eye, really. Of course, they're also being chased by the Vitellis, these, I guess, Italian robbers. At the beginning of the movie, they break out. Oh, I forget his character's name. You know Robert Duvall, the guy, the one with Vitelli who was already in jail, who fake, tried to fake hanging himself and then kick the guard, you know, and beats up the guard. Then escapes with his brother and his mother. And, you know, you meet the other Goonies. In the, in the, in the, they go, huh, how I'm going to pronounce this right, I'm going to do this review right, but I'm going to pronounce it right. So, they search in this old restaurant, and they go under the ground, and they discover a tunnel, and they, somewhere in the ocean, they discover a hidden cave with, you know, the pirate ship of One-Eyed Willie. And that's where, you know, you, you see the treasure and the one eye, the skeleton, one eye, really, and the Goonies and the booby traps. And that's basically the movie that's what I'm going to say. The Goonies is, is a great movie. If you grew up in the 80s, and like I said, you, you probably know this movie by heart. Everybody knows this movie by heart now. But it's got some cool special features. Like, you know, the making of the Goonies, the Goonies, the trailer. The commentary where you see the adult Goonies. I mean, the cast members who played the Goonies, Corey Feldman, Sean Aston. And uh, you know they do the commentary for the film, but you get to see the they you get to see the camera of them doing commentary and watching the film. That's pretty cool. And Cindy Lopper's The Goonies is good enough, you know, with prof professional wrestler Captain Lou Albano, Rowdy Rowdy Piper, Andre the Giant, her real life mother, seeing like who's in also classic Freddie Blassie, that music video from The Goonies with the WWE professional wrestler. That's cool too. But this is an old ass DVD, but this is old, it's all messy and dusty and crappy. I haven't watched this movie in years. Because I got tired of watching it. I mean, I like this movie, you know. 
I saw like weird 80s movies that nobody has ever heard or heard of. Like, what the hell is that movie? But about to end this review of the Goonies. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. Please subscribe to my channel. I just need more subscribers. Please subscribe.